All right, welcome back ladies and gents to firstly the True Footy YouTube channel and this update of game day squad and our AFLW league that we've got going. So if you haven't joined the league yet, by all means do. We're still very, very early in the season and uh, it doesn't really matter when you make your team. First of all, there's heaps of weekly prizes to be won and second of all, it's a dynasty league, which means the earlier you start, the better. So even though round four is just completed, you can still make your team a be in the running for weekly prizes, but also start accumulating your team so that by next season at the very least you're going to have a much better team. The men's league is obviously about to come to an abrupt halt because the uh, AFL Grand Final is this weekend, which is very, very exciting. So what better time is there to come along and join the True Footy AFLW League? The link to Game Day Squad is in the description of this video, as well as the invite code to join the league. But we're going to run through the usual format. First of all, we're going to have a look at how our little league's going. It's growing slowly. Then we're going to review how my team went last week before opening another pack of, uh, well, there's several packs I've got to open and I'm going to get about 12 players to unpack for this video as well. So looking forward to that. Let's start off with how our team is going in general. This is the True Footy League. We've got nine members now, which is great. So that's three more since last week. So welcome to you guys. I'm guessing Triff down here at nine is one of them who didn't get uh, any points, but I'd imagine that's because probably hasn't filled out your team yet properly, mate. So if you go through your team and make sure every bench spot is full, then you will uh, then you will record points. But we've still got Lord Tobeth in first place ahead of Tommy's Booze. Tommy Boos, rather, and Pork Women. That's a hilarious name. I like that. I am Stank Ladies, um, which is, you know, a great name too, I reckon. Uh, I'm sixth, which is exactly where I was last time. Uh, and we've gained three more people. <laughs> so I'm guessing they're the people below me. Uh, and yeah, this is the round four results in isolation. I scored about 1,073 points, um, which is very similar to what I got the previous week. I'm hoping to bump that up. I, I want to start getting 2,000 points a game. I reckon that's the metric for when you're half decent at this. Cool. Let's quickly look at the squad before we open up my new pack. So uh, as you recall, I am slightly under the salary cap. I've got about 100,000 to spend um, and I've already thought of ways I can improve it. So I had two defenders not play, unfortunately, which means Eastman uh, as my bench spot. Her 35 does count, but then I still miss a spot with uh, Goranova who didn't play, unfortunately, for the Eagles. God, the Eagles in the AFLW really need a lift. It hasn't been a great start to the season. No real improvement, it seems, although they didn't play too badly against Sydney. Midfield was fairly, uh, you know, promising. We got a 106, we got a 97, and Bowen scored 76. Um, uh, that Tamara Smith's 46 is probably not quite cutting it for a silver player. Um, so we'll see if we can improve that. I made the wrong ruck choice this week. Gould scored 69, and uh, Edmund scored 91. So might flip that around this week. And how do the forwards go? Uh, not too bad. Zanka was a great pickup in gold. 134 is outstanding. Um, very, very good pickup last week in my pack. Uh, Bodie scored 70, and Newton scored 71. But uh, she's expensive. That's a platinum player. There's two platinum players. So, all right. What we're going to do now is actually, first of all, I'll go review how my reserves went. Um, looking at it, I need to, you know, get two defenders in this week who are likely going to play. And, uh, you know, there's Eliza Shannon. She is gold. Gooch was 45, but she's platinum. Um, we do have Talia Hickey there in the ruck, but again, a gold player. And I need to be mindful about how much these uh, girls are going to cost me per player. Other than that, you had Zagetti, uh, 70 toes around the mark. That was a pretty good performance based on her average. And uh, Shanae Davison. So nothing really standing out there. What we're going to do now is open up the packs and see if we can improve the team. Great, so uh, I have got three packs here to start. These are the free starter packs you get every week. A midfielder, a defender, and a ruck. So let's see how we go. That defender one is going to be particularly juicy, and I uh, really need someone who is going to be playing this week. Start with the midfield. We have got King, and I will go back, and then we'll review just how good these pickups are. Sergeant Wilson reporting for duty. A ruck, a ruck situation is pretty solid. I don't really know if I need a, uh, a good ruck, but uh, I'll take it nonetheless in Reynolds. Okay, now let's go and open up the uh, common pack that I have. So nine players to open this week again, guys. Very exciting. Cool, so we'll rattle through these fairly quickly and then we'll go review uh, who's going to make my team. So start off with Gabby O'Sullivan. Ah, friend of a friend. It's Drewzy's friend, actually. She's a good player, so pretty happy with that. Uh, who else we got? Phillips. Uh, Priest, Gibson, and nice to have an eagle in the side. Davies, Bennett, Malloy, Ott. I've already got Ott as a defender. She's not playing at the moment, so that's uh, not a great result in gold. But let's go review exactly how good these girls are. 
So you scroll down to the bottom here. Yeah, so Malloy was a really good pickup in silver, as is Emma King. Wow, okay, I've done actually really well out of this. Priest is a silver defender. Um, Gabby O'Sullivan's not playing at the moment, uh, but it's still nice to have because she's a friend of the channel. Kind of, friend of a friend. Gibson comes into the team. Uh, Sergeant Wilson, unfortunately, is didn't play last week. Mia King at 99. So I've really improved my midfield there. That's beautiful. Let's go see how these guys shape up. So first thing I'm gonna do is probably drop Mullins and Smith because I need a little bit of cashola. Malloy comes into the team, absolute no-brainer. That's a good result. Mullins I might drop. Who else did I just pick up? It's, uh, I've already forgotten. Mia King, 105 average. Might put Mia King on the field. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll put Mia King on the field and then I will change my bench option there as Mullins and uh, who was it? It was Bowen. Bowen's the one I'm gonna get straight back in. So between Bowen and yeah, Zagetti, even though Zagetti actually had a good game, I will put Bowen back onto my bench. And uh, yeah, suddenly I've saved money there and improved my team. So suddenly that midfield is looking real good. Goranova will come out for me and I will, well, I've got Priest there and I think that is the only one. Okay, there's uh, Shannon there naturally. That might be the one. So Priest comes in. Kind of funny that she plays for St Kilda. That works. You know, saints, church, stuff. I don't know. I don't know religion. Still got 100 grand to play with, and I'll just get uh, Molly Eastman back onto my bench or onto my field there, and I'll swap her out for... Well, it's got to be a bronze player, and they're probably not going to have played, but I'll chuck Goranova back on, because she could come back in. And Eastman comes in here for... Rebecca Miller. So swapping like for like for Richmond players. Slight upgrade there. And obviously Eastman played last week. So that's not too bad. Happy with that. Now, what was my ruck situation? I, I think I got a I got a ruck, didn't I? Yeah, so Darcy Davies in gold. Hickey was already there. Kinnan's not a bad option. I think I'm just gonna have to swap these players out. I'll just do some maneuvering. Cool, so I've swapped Edmonds and Gould there. Edmonds averaging 84, doing pretty well in the ruck for the doggies this year. Uh, the forward line is looking pretty El Potento, as they say in Spain. They don't, uh, don't quote me on that. Couple of, uh, yeah, averages there in the 30s. So uh, let's start with McLeod. Did I get anyone that could improve this team? I did, didn't I? Oh yeah, Emma King, great. So 113 average there. Gibson there in silver, probably not worth bringing in, but Shanae Davison, who I just picked up as my common pack, might actually crack a gig in this team. Prowse comes out, sorry Zoe, and I'm gonna get the Eagle into the team, Shanae Davison, and uh, again, I would say I've improved my team there. Certainly improved the averages, all of these guys played last week, ladies, sorry. Midfield's vastly improved there with Malloy and King coming into it, and then uh, Evans and Priest in the back line. I uh, definitely did very well this week, very happy with that. Anyway guys, that is my way of improving the team. Uh, at the end of uh, round four, going into round five, I'm praying for a West Coast Eagles win. God, it's been a, it's a tough time to be an Eagles fan, seriously. Like the Waffle team, I think we had one draw this year, no wins. The AFL team you all know about and the AFLW team is again struggling, but fingers crossed. As always, let me know in the comments how your team is going. Any suggestions for the way I can improve my team would be muchly appreciated and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.